When calculating the attributable risk, there are four values that we need to know. The number of people who were exposed to the risk factor and developed the condition, the total number of people who were exposed, the number of people who were not exposed but did develop the condition, and the total number of people who were not exposed. When we have the necessary values, we can calculate the attributable risk by subtracting the incidence of the condition in those who were exposed, A over A plus B, by the incidence of the condition in those who were not exposed, C over C plus D. Now let's try a quick example. In a restaurant with 64 guests, 24 people ate contaminated chicken, of which 18 later on developed nausea and vomiting. Another two guests developed the same symptoms, but did not consume any poultry. Using the data provided, we find that the incidence of the condition in those who ate contaminated chicken was 18 over 24, which is 75%, whereas the incidence of the condition in those who did not eat any chicken was 2 over 40, which is 5%. By subtracting the incidence of the condition in those who were exposed by the incidence of the condition in those who were not, we find that the attributable risk is 70%.